We are now ready to take a look at the results as they change with time. We will put our plan view back to the window size so that we can see both our 3D perspective view and our plan view at the same time. So we'll go down and select result controls. Now you'll notice that we are currently sitting at time step 37. That is just past the, well, that's the very last time step and one past the end of the job. As we mentioned before that this extra time step at the very end represents the maximum results from the entire run. Now if we'd like to see these change with time, we could use the left arrow key which would back us up in time. So now we're sitting here at six minutes which was the end of our job. And as we move back, you'll notice that the water levels are receding. And in our plan view, the contours are receding as well. If we wanted to move back to the start of the job, put in a two for time step two and back up to the first time step, you'll notice it's completely dry. So moving forward in time, we slowly step forward, you'll notice that the water initially starts to collect at the sides because it's coming down the slopes and from the center as well. Once again, we've asked 12D not to show any depths less than two millimeters, otherwise the entire area would be shown wet because we have rainfall on grid. So moving farther along, you'll see that the water continues to accumulate and build up and by the time it has run for that 0.1 of a minute, go to the last one, we, sorry, 0.1 of an hour, we've almost reached a steady state condition. 